What's up everyone? I want to talk to you today a little bit about uh, picking pucks up off the boards. It's a skill that's hard to learn for some players, but it's super valuable as there's a lot of pucks rimmed in the sport. And if you can become a player who on the offense can pick the puck up off the boards, uh, with speed especially, you can start bringing the puck to the net a lot quicker and uh, keeping your defenders away, maintaining the speed in the play. So what I'm going to do here is just have my teammate throw me a couple pucks uh, rims around and what we're going to do is show you how to position your hand and your stick in order to receive that pass and maintain control. So throw me a couple. So what I'm doing here is I've got my hand choked up on my stick. I'm about at the, I'm roughly at the heel of the blade and so when the puck comes around what I'm doing is I have my fist closed against the boards and I'm creating a pocket for that puck to settle into. And depending on how the puck's rimmed, like if it's bouncing out and the puck is like here, I know that I'm just going to want to stop it with my backhand and then pinch it along the boards. And then the same thing, depending on the speed, if it hits here, goes into my glove, now I've got control versus the puck blasting by me. <laughs> there we go. So I, notice how it came out. I just pinched it in, controlled it. And now two things can happen. One is that if you're actually moving with speed, you can use your fist to push the puck forward. It's not a closed hand on the, over the puck, it's just using your, your hand to keep the puck moving. Or if you don't keep the puck moving forward with your fist, after you've pinched it, you can just scoop it out, move it to your inside hand. And now you can start looking for your D-man or making a play to the net. In addition to thinking about whether you want to move the puck up in the play as well, you can think about, do I have one of my teammates behind me now hit me with a pass. Now as I'm going, I could try and power through my opponent if he's there with me, but all I have to do now is just give a pass back to my D-man or the forward that's trailing up in the play. All right, now once you've actually developed the skill of picking the puck up off the boards from a stationary position, now you're gonna wanna work on grabbing it while moving and taking it to the net. That was amazing because it actually sounded so cool. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. It means the world to me if you could leave a comment below. Please tell me what we could do differently. Any ideas for a future video. We're all putting out content every single week here to educate people and let people know more about how to play the sport of sledge hockey. So please hit subscribe here on YouTube. And if you would like to learn more, visit PlaySledgeHockey.com.